Oh, welcome back you guys, my name is Gamer Boy, and today's game we're going to be playing is called Stories, The Path of Destinies, and I am on the path of the Sky Ripper, so I'm going to just go on and everything, and yeah, I'm going to try to finish the Sky Ripper story and then choose something different next time. I'm going to try to do different stories and everything, I'm just trying to choose the um, path that is like the true, the true path so then like when I don't know what I'm I don't know what to explain I don't know how to explain it but yeah I'm trying to choose the one of the paths that is true destiny I think I'm not sure I'm I'm not really sure on what it means and everything so yeah can't upgrade myself so yeah no no do not want to use that he felt like Tarzan Okay, don't know what that was for, but okay. Need to relearn the controls. Haven't played this in a Hey, get out of that wall. Haven't played this in a while, so I need to relearn the controls and everything, so yeah. Okay, not exactly what I want. Okay, hold on. Game. Okay, need to re really relearn the controls because for some reason okay come on I know how to do this it's just that I haven't played in a while so yeah this is just gonna be a little harder than usual just because of not playing in a while so okay seriously stop hitting me and allow me to hit you okay let's just get going uh okay i don't know why it keeps doing that but it does i don't get why it keeps going and loading in sections of the map when think of all the artisans he was creating employment for truly he was a job creator yeah i don't know why it loads in um the area i need to be in and everything and then it goes and so it's becoming like all like not being there so I don't get that of course but yeah I, 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 I don't get that but at least it loads in eventually so that's good oh wait I don't want to forget anything okay I thought that was something I could break but apparently not just break these boxes so I can get some it energy. It would be fun to throw healing fruit at people. They wouldn't know whether to be mad or not. Okay, I just need to heal myself so then I'm not dead, so... Okay. I should just use the ice sword just because of it being a little bit more overpowered and everything. But I'm not sure if it's overpowered or not because I've never used it, so yeah. Um, where did I just teleport to? Okay, apparently. Okay, run, run, run. Do not want to be there. Okay, come on. I know how to defeat you now. If you're gonna defeat me, then do. Okay, seriously. He thought as he died. Seriously, that was uncalled for. Okay, come on. I know how to do this. Come on. Let's do this. Okay, hit me once. No, kill me once. Shame on me. No, fo shame on you. Hit kill me twice. Shame on me. Come on. Why can't Why can't I do this? Oh, what does the fox say? Asked when Ray. Another one called back. I know what the fox says. It says ring ding 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 ring a ding a ding. What the fox say? What does the fox say? Okay, let's just move on and eh? Hey, let's see. Okay, not the right sword right now, but yeah. 
Okay, so now I can move on to over here and do what I need to right here. Okay, stop doing this. I can take you out. I oh, seriously. For another line of work, he thought. Oh, uh, this game. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is just in incredibly hard for some reason. Okay, first getting you, just so then, and everything. Okay, stop hitting me, please. Okay, why is it so hard all of a sudden? Okay, I will do this. I don't know why it's so hard right now, but it is. Let me heal myself a little bit, as much as I can, just so then I'm not dead right away. Okay, let's just get this over with. Stop, please. I know what to do. You're just being really hard for some reason. Stop. Okay, good. So, at least I can go on now. So, that's... Hey, why am I... Okay, I don't get why I was doing that, but yeah. And anything over here doesn't look like it, so I'm just gonna go. Why is there some? Why is a fire just sitting there? Like, oh, I need a heal. Need a heal before I go into battle, just so then I don't die all over the battlefield. Okay. This okay. I need to concentrate on these battles because I'm I'm gonna die if I don't. And yeah, I'm gonna die. Someone had told him the odds didn't change just because you'd had a streak of good luck. His gut told him that was wrong though, and he always listened to his gut. On the other hand, 128 chances to win, but one of them would destroy the universe. Hmm. That seemed a bit serious. Maybe he could defeat the Emperor without firing the Sky River. Maybe he could bluff, but with a real weapon. Like in cards, when you had three knaves, but you pretended you had a fizzbin. Well, that could work. It could, but... Do you really want to chance it, or do you want to use the Sky Ripper and actually be a hero? Even though you may rip apart the universe and everything, you could become a hero, essentially, and everything. So, I would say I would use the Sky Ripper, but just because you, yeah, you turn, tear about the universe and everything, but at least, if you tear apart the universe, at least you save the day at the same time. So, what it's not like you... One of these platforms stalled. It's like, you do have a choice. Okay, need to concentrate here, just so then I don't continuously die. Okay, so I took out those enemies and everything. Anything that I can smash? Nope. So let's just get on with what I need to. Okay. And... Skyhook. Skyhook fast! I do not want to die. Skyhook. And let's just get going away. Sharp? Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible? Check. What else do you need in a sword? Okay, just step on this platform and everything and let's go. Okay. These platforms are a little slow, but I understand why. Just so then you can go and if you need to, you can he- Okay, what are you? Okay, so you make ravens very powerful and dangerous. Of course. One hit death. Okay, that makes- complete sense in a way uh, this is gonna be hard 
this is gonna be fun and enjoyable. Uh, hey, I can heal myself now. Thank you, game. I'm glad I can heal myself now. Wait, I should use the healing sword. Okay, do this. Do not want you to go and make the enemies more powerful than what they already are. So, yeah. Okay, so I took out those enemies and everything. I do apologize if I'm not speaking or anything. It's just that I don't want to die. He set up the Sky Ripper and let it warm up. He would bluff if he had to. Zenobia came out, flanked by a very daunting platoon of ravens. You won't actually use that, she said in that annoying, I know everything because I'm a cat and you know nothing because you're just a fox voice she had. Or I know the odds. Good, because... There's a real chance you could destroy the universe. No, not the first time I use it. The odds are too low. What? Uh, no? Yeah, sure. The first time, the odds are practically nothing. They only go up if I use it a bunch more times. No, but that's not how odds work. Didn't you pay attention in class? Now surrender, or I'll use it. Just once, he said. Don't. He felt sure the odds were with him. He had to go with his gut. That's what heroes do. Fire, he said. Please? The Sky Ripper fired. With a tremendous whoosh, the Emperor's flagship went up in flames. It was awesome. Then he noticed there was a hole in the air. A blackness like a tear in a parchment. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger and even larger. Crates fell upwards into it, and the world itself seemed bent, like the reflection on a curved mirror as it poured into the ravenous hole. Ah, oh, one in a hundred and twenty-eight. What are the odds? Thought Fernando, and then everything fell into the hole and was gone. Renardo stared at the book. He was still alive. Again and still only flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure, or only dreamt it? Had he really died? It felt so real, not like a dream at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But he had made different choices, and he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny, but this... This was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. But these were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. And he hadn't learned anything new this time. He'd done the same thing twice, yet expected a different outcome. So it apparently looks like that I can go for true friendship, capture the princess, or... Prince, I don't know if it's princess or prince, and then this one, I don't understand what it is or what, but at least I can go now into the options menu and if I can, where where is it? I know the in the gameplay settings and everything, yeah. So I know I'm gonna I'm gonna go and choose this path and everything. I'm gonna try to. So Batman, yeah. There must be a destiny where he survived and won. Right? Uh, otherwise, what was the point? And with that, the book's pages fluttered back once more to the beginning and... The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? 
Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. On the other hand, his old friend Lepino needed rescuing. Lepino was no game changer, but could Renardo really leave an old friend to the Ravens? So, I have no idea what to do, so I... That thing that just unlocked and everything, I really hope I can find. If I go here, do, do I find... Do I... Do I really want to try the true friendship right now, or do... Okay, hold on, yeah. Yeah, I did the Sky Ripper is unstable and everything, but... I don't have these three left, right here so i want to do this one but i don't know which one will get these to do what i want it to do so i am very confused so if i can't do the um princess one i'm gonna do true friendship right now so then yeah ah uh, lapino apparently the mad rabbit had sold a pegasus that he did not exactly own lapino always wiggled out of trouble given time but he was out of time the Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? had taken the town. Renato had seen villages emptied like this, all the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. Okay, so I have this and everything. Okay, I'll hold hold on you guys. I need I'll be right back. It's just there's a lot of loud noises, so I don't want it to be in the video, so I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back. I do apologize. It's just that I don't want a lot of loud noises being on, um, being in the video and everything. So I do really apologize if I'm, if I do that from time to time. It's just that I live in a noisy area uh, and everything. So at certain times I do will have to start doing that. So yeah, so I do really apologize, but at least I'm gonna, yeah, but I'm gonna try to do true friendship here, if not the, um, princess, because I wanna try to do the princess not part, and... Land, ...the empty village and reflected. The Sky Ripper had turned out to be far too dangerous to be used. Time to turn to what he knew best. Okay. But, yeah, I'm gonna try to do the true friendship thing, just so then I don't go and... Something useful in these things, didn't there? If I can't do the princess thing, then I'm gonna go for true friendship. I'm just guessing. I don't know for sure, but that seems like the option that is there. I'm trying to hit this. Why isn't it not breaking? Excuse me. Uh, I don't get this. It's not, okay, so I had to sort of dash, I guess, through it. I don't understand it, but if I had to, then okay. Just exploring this area just because I... This will probably, yeah, I know I'm going to probably be able to come back to this area, but n not a lot. Like, only like one more time, probably. I do come back here at all. I want to be able to just get to what I need to do, and anyway, 
I like to explore and get to like stuff I need and everything so it is better if you explore because you will find stuff that you never would have guessed if you didn't explore so like I would have probably never f oh, known that these were here if I didn't open them all and everything so that's just hey a chest a chest that did not open yet okay do I jump down the well yeah what the heck it's not like it's gonna hurt me or anything if I jump down here I hope I hope by jumping down this well it doesn't hurt my chances of saving him because I really want to save him and everything. I want to capture the princess as well and I don't know if it's through this path. Oh, seriously, I could have... <clears throat> okay. I'm, I'm going to go back and everything just to see what's over here. Just because exploring is always fun to do. Because exploration isn't a thing no, that one. you should... What he could make with all this ore and essence? Oh, right. Probably a sword. Chill out. Ravens were landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? I do get that I don't speak during the battles and everything. It's just that if I do speak during the battles, then I'm just going to die. Because as you guys saw, I was dying. He couldn't get impatient. He needed to take the time to figure out what all his experience had brought him. Like, like you guys saw, I was talking at the beginning during those battles and I was dying a lot, so I need to concentrate and not just think that, um, I know what I'm doing because not every game I know what I'm doing. I'm not always sure on what I'm doing. I should get more health and everything. More health is better just so then I don't die all over because the more health you have, the more likely you aren't going to die. Seriously, I don't have the correct sword. What sword do I need for these purple doors? I know for an ice door, I have the ice sword and everything, but... Renata felt uncomfortable around cemeteries. They reminded him of a goth vixen he dated for a while. I get that I ice doors can be opened, but yeah. Okay, run! Okay, I should have known. Okay, come on! Battles like this I can talk to just because they're not a lot of enemies, but if it's like a huge horde of enemies then I can't really speak just because of not wanting to die and everything and I want to progress the game and not just sit here for ages trying to fight the enemies. But anyway, let's save Lapino. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Bernardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. I want to go for the, um, princess and everything, so, yeah, the general's daughter and everything, so, yeah, I'm going to go for the, her just because, as I said, I wanted to go for this side area, and I really wish that there was an area in the, in these, in this menu, because I don't know if it's in this menu or I have to go back to the main menu, but if I have to go back to the main menu, then I would, I will, and I will probably 
have already and everything after I choose the option and everything I probably am gonna go back and see if there's any options and then come back and tell you if there is or not probably I'm not sure if I'm I will think about it when I choose this path so anyway let's just continue on with capturing the the um, general's daughter Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter of course she'd been Renato's best friend in sword food school and you're still mad for her the rabbit reminded him they'd been close she'd told him things no one else knew but she'd never told him who she really was she knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master's spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game all right. The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Okay, you guys, I did check the menus and everything on the main... Who these chests everywhere? Wondered Renato. I should send him a thank you note. Yeah, I did check the um stuff in the main area and everything, and I couldn't find it. I may find it in during the next episode and everything. I don't know for sure, but if anyone knows how to activate the option that I got, then please tell me in the comments below because I really have no idea of how to activate the um true destiny, true path finder and everything. I thought I did, but I don't. So if anyone knows how to do that, please tell me in the comments below. Because I really want to know how to do that because I don't want to be sitting here doing every single option just to 100% the game. Because I don't want to 100% the game. I want to actually go and complete the game to the true destinies and everything. Kill her! Kill the rebel! Cord one raven. Eat the rebel! Cord another. Okay, I should really fight back during this. Okay, open this door just because I can. Open the door because I have the ice sword. And get whatever is in here. Ah, cool. That is really cool. Hey, I'm right behind you. I can kill you. Okay, so I should be very careful around here. I don't know what's around here, so I should be very careful. And get that stuff, and let's just continue on. Wait right here. Okay, so I need to w walk over here and make sure that you're not trying to attack me. But I'm attacking you, of course. Ah! Do you not want to do that? When I build my castle, God Renato, all my gates are going to open with buttons. And all the levers will drop rocks in your head. Okay, take out this. Uh, this. Ah! Do not want to get in the uh, line of sight. Because I do not want to die, of course. Heal myself with the healing sword. And then let's just resume using the ice blade. Hey, Lapino! Hello! What are you doing? So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lapino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? thought Renardo. Okay, I should go for Lapino's plan and everything, but. I'm gonna go over his plan just to see if it works because it's it's almost like one of those um cartoonish plans that are is over the top so over the top it's going to probably have to work it's so over the top and I want to see this I want to see 
um, Renardo and Lapino do this. I want to see what happens with, at this point. So, yeah. So, I'm going to do it. Oh, this is going to be fun, said Lapino as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. Next time, I, if I come across... It would be fun to try out that one. And here was a handy workbench. Next time when I come across it, if I do, then I'm going to choose the other option. But for now, I want to actually see what would happen if I did it. I want to see what happens. Because I am that's very intriguing to see a, a plan another character comes up with and everything. I want to see what happens. I want to see if it's funny, if it's stupid, if it's whatever. I want to see it. If it's stupid, then I will know it's stupid, but I want to see if it is. I'm, a plan like that is only like in a cartoon. I've only heard like in cartoons and everything, so yeah. I really do not know how I'm doing this battle, but I am. Apparently. Okay, pay attention to the battle and everything, so yeah. That's cool. Okay, so I... Okay, let's talk to him. Nardo felt dubious about the whole plan. With every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, Pino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renardo jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renardo, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two, said Latino. But the fleet was coming on fast. So they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye, without ever telling him she was the emperor's adopted daughter. Ah. Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, oh, she'll head for the Imperial outpost, yelled Lapino. You have to catch her. Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. Uh, uh why? Oh, yeah. I, I forget that, uh, that he can get dizzy and everything. I forgot that he could. There was an inscription. No spitting. Okay, so I'm gonna go after the princess and everything, and apparently they're gonna probably hook up if I go this way and everything. I'm not gonna destroy any of those just because I have the healing sword and everything. I can just heal myself right now. And I know how to go this w I know what to do, so I'm going this way. I get that I could go the other way, but I'm not. I know what to do here, so yeah. Or if this hit the wrong direction, then oh my god, then I'm I'm a dunce and everything. If this hit the wrong way, then I can't believe I'm going the, this way. Switch swords to the ice one, and let's just take out these enemies. Do not want to die, so must be very cautious of what I'm doing. Do not hit me, bird. You yellow glowing bird, do not kill me. Make sure that I don't die by making sure that the ones with the question marks do not hit me. Get the one with the, with the shield and make sure that I don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Please do not die. The 
Bernardo, do not die. Do not die, dude. Okay, good. You you got it. Um, what was happening? I don't get it, but I was holding on to him. Don't get why, but I was. Was I going the wrong direction or what? What why did I just teleport? He was closing on her. He could smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Maybe it didn't have to end that way. Maybe he could talk to her. But, after all, there were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. I could probably talk to her and befriend her and everything. Probably. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try that. That befriending her and try to make her understand that. I'm not trying to go after her and everything. I'm gonna try doing that. Uh, should I? It seems like if I get a hundred, if I get 70, then I can, and then w some more win instant. Win essence, I can go and get this. Yeah, I'm gonna wait and not upgrade my sword just so then I get some essence of wind and everything. Okay, let's just fight these creatures. I know you guys are very powerful, but I can take you on. And not that powerful anymore, because I'm more powerful than you. Do not kill me. Let me dodge and kill you f before you kill me, because if I kill you before you kill me, okay, you're getting put down. Okay, the glowing, the yellow glowing um, bird is going to die first because I do not want to die. Okay, that was just a cheap shot. You raven. Okay, go and take you out and then over here. Yes, I did it. Bernardo reached the outpost. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, please. You're enjoying us a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit-chat, would you? Said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the Farfarer, Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the Rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? Yeah, I would just want to talk to her because it doesn't... Because she doesn't seem like a real threat or enemy. And if I go to this one, then yeah, I can go and probably get to use her as a weapon and everything but i want to use that next time when i have to go th through this and everything so i'm gonna go through and just talk to her and make sure that she isn't very it doesn't seem like she's very interested in trying to destroy us she's actually trying to get escape from us so i'm gonna try to see what her deal is and next time i can go and do the do this one so i'm gonna go do this one for right now as they pulled away from the Nexus, Renato could see the fear in Zenobia's eyes. I can't take it to those creatures at the base. He whispered to Lapino. Ah, you've gone soft. Soft in the head. We captured her for what she knows. I'll take her to the mountains. Tell all the horrible things the Emperor's done. Yeah, believe me, she'll turn. And he turned the wheel. The hell you will, shouted Lapino, and he grabbed the wheel back from him. The two of them wrestled for control of the ship. It shot off like a mad sparrow. Suddenly, Renato was falling. When he came to, Zenobia was standing over him, 
Why didn't you take me to the base to be interrogated? She demanded. Do you know what's left of people they interrogate? This is some trick, isn't it? To make me fall for you again. Well, I won't. Oh, go on then. Scurry back to your ravens. I can't stop you. But strangely, she didn't. As Renato set off to find the Farfarer, she followed him, keeping just out of sight of the ravens. So, I'm gonna leave the episode here. I do apologize if this episode's a little longer than usual. It's just that this game is... Wow, I never thought a game could be this good other than like the games I've already played and everything and have seen on um, YouTube and everything so on other channels and everything this game is wow I've never seen a game this good at f and everything I know that I, I haven't played a lot of new games that I haven't heard good news about this I haven't heard nothing about I have no idea this game was gonna be this good but I gotta do I gotta go because of the episode being long and I am all out of time because I actually went a little bit over the time of recording so anyway I'm just gonna go so if you like this video hit that like button if you want more videos by me game boy hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all guys in the next Woo!